The objective of the think tank is to build capacity in small developing nations to adequately address the challenges and employ the correct policy framework for the renewable energy sector. Dr. Michael Scott, Deputy Vice Chancellor, University of Guyana, who delivered remarks at the opening of the symposium, noted that the role of the emerging sector is apt at this time for Guyana. There is no doubt that the issue of energy will dominate both the intellectual and policy space of Guyana within the immediate coming years. We recognize that a focus on energy is not only desirable, but it is necessary because we recognize as a young nation that for our own developmental sustainability, it is necessary that we ensure that there is reliable and modern energy. Suriname's professor, Dr. Rajesh Kumar Mohan of the Anton Dikom University, said that the collaboration is to build capacity in the universities to address the renewable energy sector's needs. Or is to improve the university capacity to deliver programs and courses in applied renewable energy technologies to support the sustainable economic and social development of Guyana and Suriname. Therefore, we target to train students, technicians, lecturers, researchers, professionals, and also policymakers. Catholic University of Leuven's professor, Dr. Joan Dreisden of Belgium, highlighted that energy is expensive for developing countries. Professor Dreisden stressed that Guyana has great renewable energy potential to change that scenario. We both also have a significant potential of renewable energy. You may not think it is like that. There's still a lot of it to be addressed. Here you have a lot of sunshine, there's a bit of wind, you have an enormous potential in bioenergy. In Belgium, we are a small country. We have also bad weather with lots of wind and rain, but still we manage to be the number five country in solar power in Europe. Us, small country with small population. We are also in the top five for wind power. And I will show you in my, in my speech later how we are doing that. We are putting wind turbines in a lot of unexpected locations. Maybe that's also an ID for the region here. Delivering the feature address at the symposium, Minister of Infrastructure David Patterson lauded the joint project. I believe the team is up as it reflects the country's approach to realizing a green Guyana, considering our national determined contribution to the Paris Agreement on climate exchange, as well as the sustainable development goals. Energy efficiency and conservation is vital to sustainability and development and global controls, concerns about climate change and effects necessitate the exploration of innovative and sustainable solutions to our energy needs. Despite possessing considerable renewable energy potential, Guyana, sadly, is currently heavily dependent on imports of fossil fuel for its energy needs. Renewable energy development will, will support a sustainable and diversified pattern of energy supply, which is, fun which is a fundamental component for fostering economic growth and development. The symposium sought to address and build capacity in the areas of transition from fossil production of power to renewable energy technologies, policy initiatives, investment and development of alternative energy sources, among other topics. For HGP Nightly News, Sean Embrack.